Hey, what's up, you guys? Nuka Svinsky here, and today, guys, we're going to be talking about the reasons why I personally love the Ford Crown Victoria. Well, more specifically, the the Police Interceptor, aka the P71 or the P7B, whichever one you prefer. Now, there's tons of reasons why I love this car. Like, for instance, the looks and everything you can do with it. Everything about this car is amazing. But I'm going to go over more specific reasons why this car means a lot. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, before we begin, I just want to say that um, I know this is Horizon 3 and I know they have it in Horizon 4, even though I could be playing literally anything else to show off this car in gameplay wise. So, yeah. And also, um, don't take everything I say as actual facts. I'm just going off from uh, what I've been told. At least I believe I am. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So, the first reason why I love this car, it's history. Now, you might be wondering why I love a car based off of its history, when literally every other car has its own history and whatnot. But the reason why I love the Police Interceptor is because it history it has out on the road. The fastest it's ever gone and all that, you know, police wise, anyway. A lot of things have been done with these Crown Vicks, especially stunts, but you know what I mean. The history behind these Crown Vicks are just amazing, and yeah, that's part of the reason why I love it. Second reason is uh, the engine it has. <laughs> now, without it straight piped, um, it sounds like almost a normal sedan with a V8. It's awesome sounding. It has its own unique sound as almost every car does. But the sound with this car, stock engine, I'm, not sure, I'm pretty sure people have engine swap this thing like crazy. But the same engine swap, not engine swap, the stock engine without being straight piped, it's just awesome. It's one of the most unique sounds in all of history. And it come, the engine comes from a Mustang GT, I believe. Packing, at the most, 250 horsepower. Which is actually pretty decent for this car, especially for its weight. I don't remember correctly, it's like 4,200 pounds, I think, if I remember correctly. But yeah. Um, third reason why I love this car is the visuals you can do with it. Now there's not a lot you can do with this car to make it look aggressive. There is quite a, there is quite a bit though. Like for instance a push bar like one of the like the uh, Go Rhino push bars I believe, the CHPs as well. Even the wraparounds. The wraparounds are probably my favorite. So yeah. That's the third re that that's also the third reason, especially what you can do with the rims, because this thing packs a Mustang engine. You can put like Mustang rims on it, and it actually suits it. Although, in my opinion, it must be black. Also, another thing why why I liked about this car is the hidden things it, it comes with if you get the uh, P71, which is the Police Interceptor Edition, and. A lot, of, a lot of the hidden features are actually really cool, like, for instance, uh, this button on the dash right there, it can open the trunk, I believe you must be in park though, to open the trunk, I can't remember exactly, which again, as I said, don't take everything I said as like actual facts, because I could be wrong, and also if somebody uh, knows a lot about Crown Vicks, um, you can feel free to correct me because I have a feeling I'll be wrong with a lot of the uh, info. But yeah. Another reason why I like this car is that you can store a quite a lot of things in the trunk. Like, let's say you go on a hefty uh, shopping spree for, like, items. And, like, for instance, let's say you're at a grocery store. <laughs> I don't know why. But you get like a whole bunch. And this thing has like a lot of trunk space, so yeah. You'll be able to fit 
a lot of items in the trunk before you even have to put any more groceries in like the back seat or the passenger seat. If not all of it. Other reason? It's reliable and I believe cheap to fix. Hence why a lot of police used it for like lower rank vehicles. Like cadet or rookie. Whatever term you use. This vehicle, from what I hear personally, um, is actually pretty cheap to fix. And from what I hear, also easy to fix. Now sure, there are a lot of issues with the Crown Vic, like for instance the alternator, the fuel, fi the fuel filler neck will break as well, the transmission, of course, and the windows. That's obvious, because all the years these cars have been in action, a lot of stuff will break. Also, um, fun little fact about um, me with these cars. I didn't used to be that big of a fan of them. Sure, I liked them because they were cop cars and they were unique. But all of a sudden, some ever since I started playing 5M, um, I started to like them. Well, not really with 5M. It's where I actually started to like them a lot, but... I originally started to like them from other games in real life. Anyway, getting off topic. But yeah, a lot of things will break, but from what I hear, um, it's, a, it's pretty cheap and pretty easy to fix. Although, from also a problem I heard that can happen is like engine knocking, which I'm not an expert on engines. I have no idea what it means. So yeah, and also back on the engine, I believe it has a 4.6 liter V8, if I'm not wrong. I could be very wrong. As I said, don't take everything I say as actual facts, and feel free to correct me when I'm wrong. Which I probably am wrong for all the facts I stated. I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, this car is awesome, and probably... The best looking sedan that could ever happen, in my opinion. And I'm sure some of you guys are actually surprised I like this thing, considering it's like a standard car from back then that people don't drive anymore that much. Except, I think, now for car enthusiasts and also uh, police officers when they're off duty. I think some departments also still use these things, because I remember going to some place... Um, and still seeing the Crown Vic on the line of duty. Which is awesome. <laughs> I'm sure a few of these still exist in some police departments. Maybe even still in New York. Who knows? I've seen it as like detective vehicles in New York as well. Never seen them in person, but it'd be cool to see in person. But yeah, those are the reasons why I like the Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. This car is just amazing. I'm sure there's some reasons I even forgot. Or maybe missed, uh, explained. I don't know. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think of these cars. Do you like them? So yeah. Hopefully you did enjoy. I don't know why you would enjoy me talking about a car. But yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.